Hey guys, it's Sony with Inner Geek Designs. Today I'm back with another graphic design video. Today I'm gonna talk to you how do you start as a graphic designer in 2018. Remember, design videos come out on Mondays, so get subscribed for that if you haven't already. Uh, so year over year, the graphic design industry has grown. Just more designers are coming, and more and more are starting to find this industry and want to join. Um, and this 2018 is gonna be a year where just it's gonna explode. There's gonna be more and more designers leaving school, not going to school, but starting graphic design. So here are some tips and tricks on how to start in 2018. So I'll stay all the way to the end to get what I think is the best tip to how to start in 2018 as a graphic designer. This is gonna be broken up into two different thought bubbles. If you're coming from design school or college and you're graduating, and if you haven't come and you just wanna start as a graphic designer. So let's break it up into those two and let's start with school. So if you're still in school and wanted to become a designer, this is probably the best opportunity for you. You have a little overhead, but you have great opportunities. So you're learning, you're experimenting, you're getting your classes in, but also you can start doing work in school and not have to worry about losing a job, getting burned by too many clients as you're just getting off the ground. So I would say start now and start as many projects as you can, even start free. Now a lot of designers will be, I don't want to do free work, free work's not for me, but the thing is, if you start free while in school, you'll actually gain more than lose. Since you're already learning and trying to figure stuff out, you'll learn all the pitfalls that you would have prior if you started paying. So you'll learn that you need contracts, what is in your contracts, how much you should be charging, how much, when you should get paid, um, how to deal with clients, what feedback you need from clients, how many revisions you feel is too many, and when you should charge for revisions. So this is the best time to start for your free work. Also, start looking at um, family or friend businesses. You know, everyone has family, everyone has friends, and some of them have businesses. Maybe they need some work. Maybe get your foot in the door there and start learning how to do uh, brochures and flyers and business cards and a logo and start building up your portfolio this way. The thing is you have to find as many ways as you can build your portfolio up to the strongest it can before you graduate. Because once you graduate, that's it. You gotta start looking for a job, you gotta start interning and etc etc. So go to your family's restaurant or your friend's store and ask him, hey, is there any work that I can do? I'll be willing to do it for free or dirt cheap. I get some experience, you get some work done. It's a win-win for both of you. I would also start looking towards some internships, paid or free. Now, this may seem weird, but if you do an internship, you get your foot in the door in a business, a local business, or even a um, agency, and you'll start getting experience that other people might not have while they're in school. This can bring some good exposure for what you need in your portfolio or what you might need outside of school. So I would start looking at internships, free work, and family work. That might be the biggest three you need to start, but the main thing you need to worry about when you're in school and you want to become a graphic designer outside of school is you need to build, 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 build that portfolio as strong as it can be. You need to gain as much work experience as you can because that's what's going to stand out versus the competition. Now let's go the opposite direction. What if you aren't going to school or can't afford school or you don't have school in your area or something like that or there's multiple reasons why people don't go to college. Um, you can still do this. This is going to be a lot more work though. You're going to need to do a lot more grunt work to get off the ground. That means even before taking any of these tips into consideration, you need to make sure that you have the right mindset and you're willing to take all this work that you're going to have to do to make it happen. So you're going to have to have hustle, you're going to have to have the right mindset, you're going to make sure that no matter how hard this gets, you're going to be willing to stick with it. So a lot of the suggestions I made to students would be cross over here. You should do some free work, you should do some family work, but you can't do the internship. That's the only thing. You actually need an education most of the time to do an internship. There are some exceptions to the rule. But I would start sticking with free work or cheap work and build up that portfolio. Now, the exception to internships is when you have a really good portfolio. 
So you can't go into some design studio and say, hey, I want to work here. Where's your portfolio? I don't have one. Well, you're going to get kicked out of the door right then and there. You need to show that you can do this. So you're going to have to hustle really hard with free cheap work and family work and friends work and start just building this as much as you can to get a good foundation and get off the ground. Now, something I wouldn't suggest for either group to start doing is working on freelance sites like Guru, Freelancer, uh, Odesk, or whatever it's called now. Um, these platforms are okay for certain things, but for design work, it's kind of nickel and diming, and you kind of have to bid yourself to almost nothing. I mean, if you did that, you might as well just start working for free for some smaller YouTube channels or people who are just getting off the ground kind of thing. Um, these sites aren't really the best for anything. Yes, you can make a living on it, but it's far and few between when people do. And to do it, you have to work yourself to death. $30 logo here, $10 logo here, $5 business card here. And at that point, what's the point of doing it? And my best tip for anyone who wanted to starting as a graphic designer in 2018, just start. A lot of people today will just start talking about wanting to start something or talking about wanting to do something. And then when it comes to actually doing it, you just keep pushing it back and back and back. This is like the New Year's resolution type thing. You keep pushing stuff back and back and back and back until it doesn't happen. Or you start doing it and then you fall off the course. So just start doing it. You'll learn a lot more pitfalls. You'll learn a lot more about what it's going to take to actually do this. And if, it, if you have what it takes. So I would just start doing and then you'll actually learn if you can do it. Or if you actually still want to become a graphic designer. You might learn something about it that you didn't know was possible or that you didn't like about it. Well that's it for this one guys. Um, if you want any other tips of how to be a graphic designer or how to make it as a graphic designer in 2018, what are the trends coming out this year, I got a whole playlist. You can find it in the card above of the graphic designer starter kit for 2018. There's a couple of videos there now. There'll be more added. There's some older ones that are still relevant today that are also in there, so go check that out. Um, I'll be updating it as we get closer to 2018 and 2018 goes on. Remember, design videos come out Monday, so get subscribed for that if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.